the extent of it that I've seen compared probably back to the probably the 30s. You see, the Dust Bowl was when we had a drought in 34, we had a drought in 36, I think we had another one like in 39. But you were seeing those effects um, because you had multiple reoccurring droughts over and over. You see how much open ground is being left between the grasses. If it was really wet, these grasses would get real thick and start lodging over and basically we'd be fighting our way through the grasses. The small birds are having to do the exact same thing. This year they're not having to do that because it's, it's keeping nice open structure. There's people like the Missouri Prairie Foundation and, and uh, folks with other conservation minded organizations that are interested in preserving and maintaining these areas. It's just kind of the economic pressures are kind of against them. Pressures of, of crop prices, bioenergy demands, things like that. To meet a lot of those demands, people are having to put a lot of those areas into ag crop production. So areas like this are, are valuable for that. They could be farmed and those products could be produced. Normally, like I said, they're, this time of year we're starting to collect quite a bit of seeds um, and have big piles and full bags and everything else, and this year it's going to be a lot slimmer. And we're probably not going to collect as much bulk poundage this year. Our main goal and emphasis is to get the high amount of diversity that these guys are collecting out there on that, that site and established. You know, we've put that seed out there and we've seen, I don't know, we've probably documented about 120 species or out on the site that we've, we've restored. There's about 800 to 800 to 900 acres that we want to plant and establish out here, and we've got about 200 acres well established, I think. So we've got about another 600, 700 to go. Our idea is, yeah, we're going to have the largest restored prairie savanna ecosystem and prairie fork here once we're done with this. And, and again, like I said, we've done a good enough job that it's it's a pretty diverse restoration. 120 to 150 species out there mm -hmm. already.